I was looking at programs for the summer to try to combine all my interests and I came across the PASS Foundation. Uh, I came to the field school just because I saw it online and I was interested in archaeology and I've been diving for a while and I wanted to see what it's like. Well, this is our annual underwater archaeology field school. The week began, as they all do, with looking at material culture. We try really hard to set up so that the students have a really wonderful set of contacts uh, for any shipwreck before we, we go on and work on it. We learned all about cataloging artifacts, how to take proper measurements. And, and our point was to create a very searchable, usable database that takes all these artifacts and puts them all together. So. Anyone in the future can actually come into the archive and quickly figure out what's going on. There's a lot of stuff to do before you even dive on a wreck, just in order to know where the wreck's from and why it's there. Of particular interest to us are the Gold Rush vessels because those are part of a larger historical story, which is one of the most important events of U.S. history. It's been our goal in state parks, working with PAST, to try to understand these vessels and selecting one of them as an example of the maritime history of the California Gold Rush. The information this hull has the potential to tell us is just huge. In the second part of every field school, we work on the shipwreck. We arrive at the site in the Zodiacs with all our gear, and we get on our gear as quickly as we can, but we make sure that we're safe and we do all our checks. And of course, we help each other out. By 10 o'clock, we're usually in the water for the rest of the day doing real archaeology. Remember that tree that we crossed over? Yeah. We're going to move it. The most fun I've had was definitely the initial jumping in. It was like an adrenaline burst. Gentlemen, have fun. Going under, going down the line, and actually coming across the shipwreck, you see this massive wooden structure looming out of the water. And that really sent shivers down my spine. What, what has struck me over the years in working with PAST is there's just an interest and an excitement that radiates out at the project site. And that isn't common and it isn't typical of every project we do. <laughs> it's just hands-on. You can read all you want about it, but there's nothing like getting in there and being able to touch the wreck that you read about that's been sitting in the water since the 1800s. There's nothing like that. It's a great experience. Our whole intention here is to do something real. People may never get to see it or touch it like we did. 